G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a Raptor Room update for March 2020. This here is Chris, my black-headed python who's checking out the camera. Chris here is a two-year-old black-headed python. He's housed in a three-foot Raptor One enclosure. He's fed on small rats. In his enclosure we have two hides, one for heat, one for his cool. The temperature is set at 30 degrees uh, in this hot spot while his cool spot is about 25 degrees Celsius. In his enclosure we have his substrate, which is a koi peat brick uh, substrate, his stick, water bowl, his fake plant, a backing, and his globe just a 60 watt Phillips focus beam globe. Here we have Bluey, he is one of two Eastern Blue Tongue skinks that I have in the collection. He's housed in a three foot fish tank at the moment. We will be getting proper enclosures for him and his brother Bo soon. So in his enclosure we have his substrate which is a koi peat brick. We have some straw for him to burrow into. A couple of rocks in here, his log hide, sandstone brick, fake plant, his backing heat globe UV. Now the heat globes are used over 40 or 60 uh, watt fo focus beam from Philips. We have his water bowl and his food bowl which has apple, gog food, which is chicken flavoured, carrot, bok choy and blueberries. Here we have Charles who is my Albino Darwin carpet python. He's housed in a one foot reptile one enclosure. We have a heat mat that runs the length of the back half of the enclosure where it gets about 33 degrees Celsius. At the front gets about 28. Where he's sitting gets about 26. We have a couple of sticks in here for the climb on, a couple of hides, his substrate, fake plant and his water bowl. Here we have Bo, who is the second Eastern Blue Tongue skink we have. Now Bo, he's in a very identical setup as Bluey, so I won't run through the same stuff as before. This here is Molly, my female jungle carpet python. She's housed in a two foot up to one enclosure. Her setup is basically her light strip, ceramic heat globe. It's about 32 degrees on the stick, 30 degrees where she is, and on the other side it's about 28. We have a water bowl, three rocks, a couple of sticks for the perch on, fake plant, her backing, and the substrate is the aspen snake bedding, and she's currently hiding in a log hide. And Molly here is also fed on extra large adult mice, almost a lot about that. Here we have Murray, who is my male coast jungle carpet python. He's housed in a four foot custom built enclosure. So in this enclosure, we have just a normal halogen light. We can play around with the lighting for a bit. We have a normal white globe, which is just a 60 watt. Phillips heat. We have his rock wall that he's sitting on. It gets about 32 degrees where he's sitting and 33 on the other side. While on the ground it gets about 26. We have his stick, hammock, he's fed on medium rats, his water bowl, fake plant, and his substrate has been snake bedding. Here we have Emma, who's my male blind spider python. He's housed in a three foot URS enclosure. So in his enclosure we have his backing, just a normal light tube, his heat mat where he's sitting it gets about 30 degrees. Now the side is about 28, his substrate is the aspen snake bedding, we have a few rocks, a couple of sticks, fake plant, a water bowl, and he's fed on extra large adult mice. Here we have Rex, who is my male central and bearded dragon. He's housed in a three foot Rapti Zoo enclosure. So here side uh, we have a silicone rock that he's kind of sitting on, it gets about 32 degrees. Down on the ground we get about 30. We have his hide, his substrate, water bowl, food bowl, but he's fed on carrot, bok choy and apple, on occasion strawberries and banana and also he does get his crickets. We have a few fake plants, a couple of sticks, a foam wall, we have two globes, one is UV, one is heat globe. Here we have Superstar and Graham who are my two female blonde spider pythons. Both snakes are fed on adult mice, extra large. Now these two are housed in a custom built three foot enclosure. So in the enclosure they have the aspen snake bedding, water bowl, Four hides, one is custom built, their log hide and two rock hides. They have a backing, their heat globe, which it gets about 33 degrees Celsius to the warm end, 27 under cool. They have a fake plant, a bit of wood, a rock and a stick, just to help them shed their skin. This here is Monty, who is my male shingle back skink. He's housed in a four foot custom built enclosure. So he's currently sitting on his hide where he gets about 32 degrees above. 30 degrees in the hide. We have your substrate, we have some straw that you can burrow into, your stick, so a couple of rocks and a brick in here just to help with his nails, a backing, heating UV, water bowl, and his food bowl, which has 
chicken flavored dog food, blueberries, bok choy, apple and carrot, and on occasions he does get strawberries and banana. Here we have the diva of the rental room, Akko. She's housed in a 4 foot Euro S enclosure. So in the enclosure we have a substrate, fake plant, a couple bits of wood for her to bask on. We have a hammock backing her stick, her heat and UV. We have a few rocks for her to grind down her nails if she needs to. A nice big water bowl for her to sit in. Her food bowl that has chicken flavoured dog food, bok choy, apple and carrot. On occasion she does get her crickets, super worms, her strawberry and banana. That's really bad for her. Or well, it gets about 30 degrees on the ground, it gets about 32 on the hammock. Here we have Salt and Pepper, who are my two banded nocturnal geckos. Now Pepper's the boy who's here, and Salt's the girl who's chilling there. Now these two have their own run for refugee enclosures. With in the enclosures they have a children play scene. They have a exoterra hide where it gets about 30 degrees. Rather than surrounding as to get 28. They have a rock in there. They also have crickets as well, they get fed every couple of days and also get sprayed as well every couple of days as long as they have a water bowl in there just in case they get thirsty. Here we have Crystal who is my female pygmy bearded dragon. She's too young to go in with Bam Bam at the moment. So in the enclosure we have her heat, UV, she has her stick that she's sitting on at the moment. We've got another stick for her to perch on when she wants some heat. We have a few rocks in here for her to climb up on. A backing, a couple of hides for her to hide in, even though she doesn't use them. A water bowl, a couple of fake plants, and then the food bowl we have apple, bok choy, and carrot. On other occasion, she gets her crickets, banana, and strawberry, and she is housed in, in a two foot Euro S enclosure. Here we have Bam Bam, who's housed in a three foot exoterra enclosure. So, in this enclosure, we have a couple of hides for him. We have his hammock, his water bowl, food bowl, which has carrot, bok choy, and apple. On occasions he gets superworms, crickets, banana and strawberries. He has his backing, fake plant, dragon head. He gets 35, about 33 degrees on his rock, while on the hammock there he gets about 28. We have his heat and his UV. Here we have Blaine, who is my female lowland splotch blue tongue. Where she's sitting, she'll get her heat from Chappie, who we see in a moment. She has two hides, her UV, sandstone brick. We have a substrate, some straw for her to burrow into, a foam wall, a fake plant, a couple of rocks for her to grind her nails on, a water bowl, her food bowl, which has blueberries, apple, chicken flavoured dog food, uh, carrot and bok choy, and on occasion she gets her superworms and crickets, and she's housed in a three foot extra terrier enclosure. Here we have Chappie. Now Chappie is a two year old central carpet python. He's currently in shed at the moment. He is fed on small rats. He's housed in a three foot exoterra enclosure. So we have his substrate, we have his water bowl. Then we have three holes in here. One's custom built, we have a pipe and a log one. We have a fake branch. Then we have a perch that I made for him where he can bask and get his uh, light. Gets about 32 degrees on the perch and down here gets about 30, but in the high it's about 28. Maybe 20, yeah, 27, 28. We have a couple fake branches in here as well, and that's really about it. That's it for the Raptor Room guys for March 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the description down below, we have my Instagram, my motorsport channel that you guys can feel free to check out, and also a couple playlists as well that you guys can have a look. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, please let me know down in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you guys with an answer. And also, thanks for guys for watching. And I'll see you in another video.